Hi everyone, welcome back to VRC Smart Edu channel. So we are here with part 6 video of class 12 biology. So we are here with part 6 video. Okay, so of chapter 5 principles of inheritance and variation. So today we are going to deal with sex determination introduction and sex determination in humans and sex determination in honeybees. Okay. So, if you are new to our channel, kindly subscribe to VRC Smart Edu channel and click the bell icon for notification. If you like this video, kindly like it and share it with your friends and gain the knowledge together. So, uh, if you have not watched our previous session, the links are provided in the description. You can go and check it out. So, now let us get into today's video and let us quickly look after the introduction part. So if you just look here, we are seeing the introduction part. So see here, Henking in 1891 could trace specific nuclear structure all throughout the spermatogenesis in few insects. During the spermatogenesis, what is spermatogenesis? Spermatogenesis is nothing but the process of production of production of sperms. Production of sperms. What are sperms? Sperms are the male gametes, right? So, production of sperm, the process of production of sperm is called as spermatogenesis. So, in the future slides, I will show you how spermatogenesis is occurring, okay? So, actually, in during the spermatogenesis, what will be formed? The sperms will be formed. So, at that time, he saw some nuclear-like structure is present in the sperms. That too, he could observe that nuclear structure only in the 50% of the sperm. The rest of the 50% of the sperm, he did not observe this nuclear-like structure. So, what he had done is, he named this body, he named the sperm that is containing the nuclear structure as X body. So, he named that, for example, see, if the sperm is going to have that nuclear body, nuclear body then he named that sperm as x body if it is not going to have that nuclear body he did not give the name for that but for the sperm that is going to have the nuclear body he gave it as x body so later uh, because of further investigation by other scientists they said that the x body is nothing but the x chromosome X body is nothing but the X chromosome. So these are the sperms. Okay, these are the sperms. Now let us move to the next. Okay, so our main goal is to today read about the sex determination. If you are going to read about it, you should have a greater understanding what is the meaning of sex determination. So now let us see that. The method, it is a method by which the distinction between male and female is established in a species is called sex determination. That means, so you are describing this is female, this is male. What is the possibility of female during birth? What is the possibility of male during the birth? You are just saying that. You are just saying how female can be born, how male can be born. You are just giving the differentiation, distinction between male and female. In an established species, this is called as sex determination. When the sex of an individual is finalized, means the sex of an individual is finalized at the time of zygote formation. What will happen? Two gametes will come. That is, one is sperm, right? Two gametes will come. One is sperm and another one is egg. So, sperm is from whom? Sperm is from father and egg is from mother. So, when they fuse together, you will call this process as fertilization. Fertili fertilization. Mm -hmm. So, after this process, what happens? After fertilization only, zygote will be formed. Or after fertilization only, zygote will be formed. So, when this zygote is formed, at that time only, you can uh, finalize the sex of an individual. Clear? So, this is called as sex determination. Okay, we are determining whether it is a female, whether it is a female 
or it is a male. We are determining that. Okay. So, what are the mechanism of sex determination? So, we have different mechanisms of sex determination for various different type of organisms. If you just look here, you have X, X and XO mechanism of sex determination. Here, males only have X chromosome. Only one X chromosome male will be having that is XO type male. And female is going to have two X chromosome. Okay, so uh, female is going to be crossed with male. So female is going to have two X chromosome. Male is going to have a X and one O chromosome. That is X chromosome. Only one cro X chromosome. So when you cross this, what happens? Here X chromosome, X chromosome is going to be produced. Here X chromosome and uh, another one. No chromosome is going to be produced. So when these two fuses, you will get XX. When these two fuses, you will get X. Zero, right? X zero. So this XX determines that it is again a female, and this determines it is a male again, right? Okay. So the example is nothing but grasshopper. Here the example they gave is grasshopper for this XX and XO mechanism. For this mechanism, grasshopper is a great example. Okay. Got that. Now we are going to the next. So, in this case, another one thing also I want to say, here also we have 50% chances of getting female and 50% chances of getting male. So, this percentage is really important to remember. Clear? So, next we are going to the next type. So, if you see here, the next type is XX and XY mechanism. XX and XY mechanism. Okay. So, XX and XY mechanism. Here, both male and female have same number of chromosome. So, the chromosome number will be same, present same in both male and female. Female has XX type of chromosome and male has XY type of chromosome. So, Y chromosome will be smaller than X chromosome. These are the basic things you already know, right? So, if this is a chromosome, if this is a chromosome, okay, one second, listen here. If this is going to be the chromosome, okay, like this only chromosome will be there. This is a chromosome, this is a X chromosome, then your Y chromosome will be smaller than your X chromosome. This will be your Y chromosome. So, this will be present in the male. And uh, in female, both will be the X chromosome. So, this also X chromosome, this also the X chromosome. So, both will look identical to each other in case of female, right? So, this is about the chromosome, right? So, uh, Y is smaller than X chromosome. Examples is given. Drosophila melanogaster is an example for... Uh, Drosophila melanogaster is an example in case of sex determination, uh, in case of XX and XY. Also, human beings also example. Okay. So... The, this is the example for this. Now, males producing either with or without X chromosome, some gametes with X or Y chromosome. If male is going to produce two different types of chromosome, whether it is going to produce one X chromosome without, that is in this case, one X chromosome and without one X chromosome. And sometimes it is having XY chromosome, that is it is having the two chromosomes. If the male is going to have possess like this two different types of chromosomes, then it is called as male heterogamety. Okay, so this one is important. Remember this. Okay, moving on to the next. Uh, next, uh, this is ZWZZ mechanism. ZWZZ mechanism. This is a little bit different type of mechanism. Till now we studied that male have two different types of chromosome and female have only one pair of chromosome, right? Same pair of chromosome. Here, female is producing two different types of chromosome. See, ZW is produced by female and male is producing ZZ type. So, this one is male. This one is female. So, male is producing ZZ type and female is producing ZW type. Okay. So, here the sex of the baby 
offspring that is going to be formed is determined by the female because female is having two different types of chromosome male is having the same type of chromosome right female is having different type of chromosome so here it is determined by the female clear since two different types of chromosomes are produced by female it is called as female heterogamety so actually here what happens is female is having two different types of chromosome and male is having the uh, single type of chromosome so therefore it is called as female heterogamety example is birds so this is also a bird right this is also a bird so examples is birds clear yes Now let us see about the autosomes and sex chromosome. So what are autosomes and sex chromosome? Let us deal. Okay. See autosomes and sex chromosome. Okay, if you see here, autosomes are chromosomes other than sex chromosomes. They contain genes which determine the somatic characters. Somatic cells, we say somatic cells. What is the meaning of somatic cells? Somatic cells means these are the cells other than the reproductive cells. Somatic cells are the cells other than the reproductive cells. So autosomes are the chromosomes that determines all other chromosomes except the sex chromosome. How many pairs of chromosomes does a human have? 23 pairs of chromosomes. Out of the 23 pairs, 22 pairs are autosomes. 22 pairs are autosomes. And one pair is the, one pair is the sex chromosome. Sex chromosome. Okay, 22 pairs are autosomes. So, these 22 pairs autosomes are present other than the, in the somatic cells. They will be present in the somatic cells. Number of autosomes will be same in both male and female. In case of both male and female, the autosomes are same. Sex chromosomes are X and Y which involves in the sex determination. In case of female, we have XX chromosome. In case of male, we have XY chromosome. Right? Yes. So, I told, I will. So, we are going to see the pathway of how spermatogenesis is occurring. So, now let us look after it. So, what is happening is, you all know, our human are, what? Deployed organisms. So, they have 2N number of chromosomes. Correct? They have 2N number of chromosomes. So, if they are going to have 2N number of chromosomes, so they are going to go in the, while the division of the chromosome, what happens during the meiosis, the division of chromosome will take place. So, here meiosis is occurring. So, this 2N is also called as spermatogonus. Okay, spermatogonus. Now, meiosis is occurring and you are getting 2N number of chromosome. Now, this 2N number of chromosome is undergoing meiosis 1. Meiosis 1 and it is getting splitted into 2. One is N and N. Like this it is splitted. This N is further splitting into. So, this is your primary spermatocyte. Spermatocyte. So, this is your primary spermatocyte. 1 degree means primary, right? So, you know 1 degree means primary. And 2 degree means what? 2 degree means secondary. This you know, right? So, here what happens is, next this NN is dividing, no? This NN division is called as secondary spermatocyte. Secondary spermatocyte. Now, this NN is further divided into... Again, N, N. This N is also further divided into N and N. So, here what is occurring is, here meiosis, meiosis 2 is taking place. Here meiosis 2 is taking place and this N and N are called as spermatids. Spermatids. Clear? So, each N will be getting developed into a new sperm. It's getting developed into a new sperm like this. Yes. So we call this like this only your sperms are getting produced. This is called as spermatogenesis. 
and these are your sperm cells. Clear? This is how spermatogenesis is occurring. Clear everybody? So what is all about sex determination in human beings? So you can able to see here these are the 22 pairs of chromosomes. These are your autosomes. One pair of sex chromosome will be available. In case of male as I drawn earlier. In case of female you will be having like this. Okay, same shape XX chromosome you will be having in case of female. In case of male you will be having different shapes you will be having. One is small and one other one is big. So this is X chromosome in case of male and this is Y chromosome. So this is your sex chromosomes and these are your autosomes. So human has 23 pairs of chromosome, 22 pairs are autosome and one pair is X chromosome. Now we have dealt. A pair of XX chromosome is present in females and XY is present in male. That also we saw now, right? XX is present in female, XY is present in male. During spermatogenesis, I told what is just spermatogenesis. I also explained how it is happening. Males produce two different types of gametes. That is one is X chromosome, another one is Y chromosome. So there are possibility of 50-50 percentage of getting X chromosome in the younger generation or Y chromosome in the younger generation. Female produces only ovum with X chromosome. Only female is having X chromosome that is a pair of X chromosome. There is an equal probability of fertilization of ovum with sperm carrying X or Y chromosome. So equal probability means if there is a probability or chances of 100% equal probability if you divide that will be 50% and 50% only right. So 50% and 50% it will be right. Yes. Sperms determine the sex of a baby. So now let us try to understand through a diagram so that it will be very easy for you to understand. Okay. So diagrammatic representation let us do now. So first you are taking the XX. It is nothing but female or you can write mother anyway. Okay. Female or mother. Okay. So this is the chromosome present in female. And now I am taking the male. You can also write it as father. Okay. So having XY chromosome. Okay. Now XX chromosome. What you will get X chromosome? X chromosome. After splitting. After meiosis. Okay. Here also XY chromosome you will get. Right. So now when X is going to fuse with X. What is happening? XX you will get. Right. Now X is going to fuse with Y means you will get XY you will get. If you are getting XX, then what is the gender of the baby? What is the gender of the baby? XX means the resulting baby will be a female or girl child. The resulting baby XY means it is going to be male or boy child. Okay. So, here you have 50 percentage of probability of getting male and probability of getting female. Okay. And one more thing, very very important thing. Okay. Sex of the baby of the baby is determined by is determined determined by the father right the father it is very very important thing you have to remember one mark so sex of the baby is determined by the father because father is only having two different types of chromosomes x one x chromosome and another y chromosome clear okay now uh, we are moving to sex determination in honeybee. Okay. How honeybees are going to have this male and female characters. Okay. Let's see this. Okay. Honeybees. So you can able to see that uh, the sex determination in honeybee is based on the number of sets of chromosome an individual receives. So for example, imagine this is an individual. So if this individual, it needs to be characterized as male or female. How we will characterize it as male or female? Based on the number of chromosome it has. So how many number of chromosome a honeybee has? Based on that only, we will say the honeybee is a male or female. Okay. So if it is having 32 chromosome, then we say it as female. If it is having 16 chromosome, then we will say it as male. Okay. See, female or diploid. Diploid means female are 2N. 
male is haploid young male or haploid having 16 chromosomes female are having 32 chromosomes so they are called as haplodiploid sex determination so you can also say the sex determination in case of honey bee as haplodiploid sex determination this is really really important word haplodiploid sex determination clear so the union of sperm and egg results in female in case of honey bee union of sperm and egg results in female but but unfertilized egg will develop as male unfertilized egg will develop as male okay so if it is going to be getting fertilized then it is going to result in female if it is not going to be getting fertilized it is going to result in male character clear so male okay i have given a word called i have given a word co word called parthenogenesis okay look here i have given a word called parthenogenesis what is parthenogenesis means if your uh, egg or if your gamete is going to be developing without fertilization so fertilization is not going to occur but the gamete is going to develop means that is called as parthenogenesis okay so write and keep it uh, parthenogenesis definition i am giving here Okay. Development, development of female gamete of female gamete without fertilization. Okay, female gamete. One second. Development of. female i hope it's not female gamete without fertilization it is called as parthenogenesis okay so here you can able to see that Uh, sperms are produced by mitosis you already know that mitosis is a process that is taking place there they do not have father or son but have grandfather or grandson see if the male is going to be produced surely it will be producing from female right there is no uh, fertilization uh, is going to be taking place okay so unfertilized egg is only going to give the uh, actually a sun okay for example so if the honey bee is there for example the honey bee is a male means this honey bee is going to have only mother this honey bee is not going to have father right and this honey bee cannot even produce sun right cannot even produce sun this honey bee cannot produce sun it can only produce daughter it cannot have the father because it is produced from the mother right but that mother can have father right that mother can have father so that mother mother's father is grandfather so it can have grandfather it can have grandson also grandson is if it is going to have the uh, daughter the daughter son is grandson right so it can have grandfather or grandson but it cannot be a father or son okay so that's all about this sex determination in honey bee you have to know So that's all for today's video. So if you like our channel kindly like subscribe to our channel and click the bell button for notification. So thank you so much for watching this video.